Question 38. Here you are given a potential meter, right? A battery is connected to a potential meter. So a potential meter is consists of a wire and a voltmeter with an adjustable LED that you can change the length. Okay, so the potential difference V between the sliding contact and the end of the wire is measured using a voltmeter. Okay, so we have a uniform resistance wire. That means uh, the resistance per unit length will be the same. Okay, here potential difference between the sliding contact P and the NQ. Sliding contact P and NQ is measured using a voltmeter. Okay, so we're measuring the potential difference here to here, okay? You check out the connection of the voltmeter. You see this part here. One connect to here. This one connect to here. So we are measuring here to here. Okay, the sliding contact P is moved from Q to R. So we will take the sliding contact and move across here. Which graph shows the variation of D of potential difference V or the voltmeter reading? Okay, so step one, I know that when the meter is at Q, at this point here, like this, uh, it's connected here, D is zero. But also, there is no resistance between point Q and point P. So resistance is zero. So potential difference also zero. So we need to start from zero, zero. This graph wrong, this graph wrong. Can throw away that. Okay, we only got two more graphs to evaluate. Do you think the gradient is constant or the gradient is increasing? Well, it says here that there is a uniform resistance wire. So if I think about R, R is rho L over A, right? The resistivity equation. Same wire, same area. Okay, uniform here means same uh, cross-sectional area. So resistance is proportional to length. Or resistance will now be proportional to D because D is the length of the wire that we are measuring the potential difference across. So if resistance is proportional to D, and I know V is equal to IR, right? And the current inside this wire is the same current, ma, it's the same wire. You didn't change anything in this main circuit. So in the driver circuit, which is this purple circuit, we didn't change anything, guys. We didn't add a resistor. We didn't remove a resistor. We didn't change out the wire. Everything is the same. So current is constant. Okay, the current flowing through here is constant. It's just we are measuring the potential difference at different intervals only. So I is constant. I can say V is proportional to resistance. So if I bring these two together, let's say this is one, this is two, I can then infer that potential difference is directly proportional to resistance. I know, proportional pro resistance, which is also directly proportional to the length of the wire D. Or directly proportional to D low. Hi, maths, you don't write like that. Huh? Your maths teacher will scold me. Don't write this. Write this, this one. But V is proportional to D will get us the graph A. Okay, straight line passing through the origin. Okay, so this one is because uniform wire. Okay, this one is for non-uniform wire. So I guess the question here would be, for a non-uniform wire, do you think that the wire is becoming thicker and thicker? Like this? I think this one got asked before in another question. Or the wire is becoming thinner and thinner. Like this. How's the area? Let's say the area changes proportionally to the length. Okay, so in this case, right, um, the way I think about it is without using too much equation or too much of my time is it was relatively easy to increase the value of D by the first half 
compared to the second half. So this increase is smaller compared to this increase. The second half is harder. You need more energy. So if we need more energy, more PD, more change in PD in the second half, can I say that in the second half, or let's say this is my wire, in the second half, we need more potential difference. So there is more resistance, more resistance towards the current flow. So the correct answer will be this one. This one will get you this increasing gradient. Okay, non-uniform wire that looks like this. So for this wire, the gradient should be decreasing. So I'm going to rub off this one because it's not this one. Okay, so non-uniform wire will look like this. Okay, second half more PD, more change in PD, more change in resistance. The resistance is smaller. Sorry. Yeah, more resistance. Lah. It's for me in my brain, right? I visualize the electrons flowing and it's harder for the electrons to flow here. So you need more energy change here. So I look at the change here to here, there is more change. Okay. So in case uh, they talk about this graph, I mean, sorry, this wire where it was thin and then it become thick like this, then my V against D will look like this. Okay. For the reverse reason, for the second half, I say this is somewhere half. Second half here, the drop is less. So the second half here, the area is greater. Easier for current to flow. The potential difference, is the, it is the difference that matter. Ma. So let me write. Mm, feedback is I need to write more. Okay, so here to here, change in PD is less, which means here to here, easier current flow. Easier current flow means resistance is small. Big area. Area increase. Okay. So for here to here, the second half, the more the change in PD is more. So Harder for current to flow. Harder for current to flow. So resistance is large. This means area is small. Or area decrease. Okay, this is the story for non-uniform wires. Huh? But in this question, you are lucky or the people were lucky. Uh, they got a uniform wire, so the change is constant. So for me, I can use the area equation, obviously, and put it back and do this. Do the process all over again nah, to substitute in the proportionality equation. Or I could just think about the change in potential. If the change in potential is greater, it means my na my wire is getting narrower and narrower. It's getting harder and harder for the electron to flow up this hill. Okay? Whereas if the wire is getting thicker and thicker, then it's getting easier and easier for the electron to flow or the charge to flow. Okay? Don't overthink it. All right. That's it for the question.